good morning and God bless everybody. Uh, the Lord has put a scripture on my heart this morning. Uh, maybe a few words to share. Maybe somebody's going through a trial or a struggle this morning and might need some help, a word from the Lord. Uh, I'm just a simple messenger. I can't help you, but His word can. God, give me this verse. Jeremiah 29, 11. And the Bible says there that for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. And to give you an expected end. Now I want to think about a few things in that verse this morning. Uh, one, there's some sorrow and there's some trouble in somebody's life this morning. You're going through something. Uh, you don't understand why. Uh, there is uncertainty on uh, where to go or what to do. And there's some things in uncertainty. Being uncertain about something, uh, there is no peace in that. Uh, there's fear, there's doubt, there's dismay, there's discouragement. But I'm going to tell you what God thinks this morning. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. And thoughts of peace. God does not want you to have sorrow. God does not want you to, to be uncertain. God wants you to have peace in your heart. The Bible says that thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Maybe there's something that uh, you don't understand this morning that's having a you're having a hard time with. But I can tell you that if you'll just set your affections and your mind on the Lord, that he'll take care of it for you. The Bible says that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Jesus is our peace. Uh, there is no peace outside of Him. Uh, he is uh, our mediator between God and man. Uh, and I want to think about that verse a little bit more. It said, not thoughts of evil. See, the Lord don't want you to, uh, to go through uh, trouble and, and trials and, and all these things if you don't have to. Uh, sometimes we do have to go through them. Uh, to learn patience and to learn to trust Him. But that's what God's trying to tell us in this verse, that He just wants us to, to trust Him, that He has an expected end for us. Uh, as I was talking about earlier, uh, uncertainty causes foul, uh, doubt and fear. Uh, and, and when you don't know what's going on, it, it does cause you to stumble around in the dark, so it seems. But God has give us, given us an expected end uh, through His Word. Uh, he has given us clear instructions uh, in His Word of what will happen if we will accept Him and, and accept that peace. Uh, notice that He says to give you an expected end. Uh, God has given us the greatest gift uh, that we could ever have. He's given us His Word. Uh, the Bible says about Jesus that He is His Word. He says in John 1, 14 that uh, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And I think about uh, Jesus being our Word. It says that He is faithful and true. It, it talks about in Revelation that His sayings are faithful and true. It says it over and over. Uh, and the Bible also talks about Him saying He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Uh, think about that. We've got God's Word, the one that created uh, the heavens and the earth, uh, the one uh, uh, that, that came and died and bled for our sins uh, just to show us how much He loved us. He sent His Son for us. And He is the embodiment of peace. Uh, that's why I can have peace having this expected end, uh, knowing that one day after this uh, a walk of life, after this these sorrows that we go through, after these trials that we go through, that we can have a hope and we can have a peace in Him that passeth all understanding. Uh, it blows my mind to think about all the, the things that are going on in the world that uh, people are uh, in trouble, the people are hurting. 
Uh, there's all kinds of things going on, uh, and it's just too much to wrap our mind around. But God says that He will give us peace if we'll just trust Him, if we'll just put our uh, faith in Him, uh, if we'll just hold on to Him during this thing. The only way, though, that we're going to have that true peace is to have that hope in Him that there is a hereafter and that, that we can go to be where He is. See, God is love. God is grace. God is... God is joy. God is our peace. You're not going to find it outside of Him. A lot of us uh, uh, tried uh, different things to try to fill that gap, to have that peace. Uh, uh, we tried drugs. We tried sex. We tried everything in the world. Uh, tried drinking uh, just to fill that gap. Uh, what, what I like to say is looking for love in all the wrong places because that's all we really want is to be loved, to be cared for, and it seems like uh, uh, we just try every way in the world just to be accepted. But I'm going to tell you that in Ephesians, the Bible says that we are accepted in the Beloved. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. He'll accept you no matter what color you are, no matter, uh, no matter how much money you got, no matter what walk of life you come from, uh, no matter what you've did in the past. You say, well, God can't love me because I've done this and, and I've done that. But I'm going to tell you today that that you can rest assured that uh, there ain't nothing too uh, too bad that you've done, that God can't forgive you, uh, that God can't save you, and that He can't just give you a new walk of life and give you peace in your heart. That's where my peace comes from, knowing that uh, my sins are forgiven, uh, that I'm on my way to heaven in spite of myself. Uh, I've done a lot in my life uh, uh, that's not pleasing to God. Uh, I've done a lot of my life that I'm ashamed of, but I'm going to tell you now uh, that all that's gone, all of it's wiped away because uh, the blood cleanses all sin. Uh, and that's that's where my hope and my peace come from. That's where my joy comes from, uh, knowing that one day after a while, I'm going to be able to go to heaven, uh, be be in heaven with God, uh, be in heaven with my lost uh, with my loved ones that have have gone on before me. And I'm praying now for my lost ones uh, that are my lost friends and loved ones that are, that are on their way to hell don't want to accept it uh, or they just think that uh, maybe I'll get right later. Uh, I'm going to tell you today that there ain't much time left. Uh, uh, I want to cry out and tell you today that God loves you, uh, that I'm this world is coming to an end pretty soon. Uh, maybe not the world, but I'm telling you He's coming back soon. Uh, and, and it's all about to hit the fan. And if you're uh, if you're not watching, and you're not waiting on the Lord, and you're not saved by His grace, if you've not asked Him to save you, uh, to come in your heart, uh, forgive you of your sins, and you don't turn from them and turn to Him, I'm going to tell you you're going to be left here, or you're going to be stuck, and you're going to be wondering why in the world did I not accept Him. But I'm here to tell you today that He loves you, that He wants to be with you, uh, that He wants a relationship with you, He wants to walk with you daily so you can have that peace and you can have that expected in uh, that, hey, I'm going to go home to be with Him. I'm going to go home uh, uh, to be with uh, my family and loved ones that have gone on before. What kind of hope would there be if it was just nothing after here? Uh, if you didn't get to go have a, gra a glad reunion day with your family and your loved ones, I don't know what I would do, but here's a word of encouragement. You can have your peace in the Lord today. He says, Call upon me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Uh, we have an expected end. Uh, it's all in the Holy Bible, the King James Version of the Bible. It's all there. All you got to do is look in there uh, and you can find so many promises that pertain to your life. Uh, you can find so many things to, to give you peace uh, uh, and joy even in your sorrow, the Bible says to count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, uh, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And then it says, if any man, any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, uh, which giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not. That means uh, if you're having a trial or your struggle, you go to God. And how do you go to God? You go to God through prayer and through His Word, and He has all the answers to your problems and he can give you joy and the satisfaction uh, knowing that you're loved knowing that you're cared for and uh, knowing that he's gone to prepare a place for you and that where he goes you may be there also and know that he's coming back again for you uh, to take you away from all this mess uh, uh, that we're in 
you just got something to praise God about this morning. I got something to praise God about. Uh, even though I'm going through trials and struggles myself, uh, I do it every day. But I can tell you this, that God is so good to us. And He loves us. And He loves you. And just wants a relationship. Desires to be with you this morning. That's the word the Lord has given me for now. But I pray that every one of you have a blessed day. That God will uh, give you uh, abundant mercy. I love you all. And God bless.